Well, I've just finished watching Mr. Pete's, aka Tubal Kane's latest video. And excellent as all his videos are, this one was too. But during it, he mentioned that his uh, brother made him something which is uh, very simple, but uh, makes the use of this particular tool much, much easier. Now, this is a standard chuck key. We've all seen these. This is Jacob's, as it happens, number three. And this is what Mr. Pete's brother did for him. Basically, he simply put a simple aluminium handle on it and my god does it make it so much easier to use i mean it's so so why the hell i didn't think of this is just beyond me so all credit to mr pete's brother he did a damn good job so we're going to knock up another one of these because i've got several chuck keys i've already done this one uh on the on the walko uh and just to show you how very easy it is to actually do right i'm using some half inch aluminium bar stock purely because i happen to have it and it's roughly the right size of a handle we have a half inch Collet in the chuck. Hope you're watching this, Rob. Look, using collets. I know you'll be proud. So we'll stick that in there. Tighten it up. And initially do the facing off. Move in a little bit. Not forgetting to use our safety glasses, assuming I can actually find them, that is. Right, safety glasses on, fire the lathe up. First operation, as always, face off. I'll just touch off. Problem that. Next up, let's get back out again. Santa drill. It is nice using this, it really is. Take the center drill out. Now, the chuck key is actually, I've measured it and it's 5 sixteenths. When I did the first one, I drilled the, the hole in here 5 sixteenths, but to be honest with you, it was loose, which it, I'm, I wasn't surprised. So I'm go, I've gone down to a 7.75 mil drill, which is this one here. So we're gonna try with that. That may not be big enough, but we'll, 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 we'll try with that. And uh, see how we go. The chuck key on its length, this is, um, let's be ruler. There we go. So this is, let me have a look at that. This is two and a half. So basically we want to go in about to half that distance. So we'll go in one and a quarter. And we'll use the old mark in the drill bit up. Malarkey for that, which is always an easy way of doing it. There we go. Mark on my drill bit.
nice drill this, it's obviously cutting really well. Uh, And there we go. That's our one and a quarter inch hole done. Now I'm just going to tidy up the face again because the drilling always leaves a bit of an edge. So we'll just come in very gently, touch off. Go across and that takes the edge off there nicely. And then we'll just break the edge. And there we go. Now I'm going to pull the work out to whatever length you want the handle to be. And I think we'll go with, what did I go with on the last one? Yeah, so on the last one, yes, I thought so. Two and three quarters, so we'll go, we'll go with two and three quarters. That's my marker pen. So you can make this whatever you like. I mean, obviously you don't want it too long because it's gonna look ridiculous. On a, on, a, on a chuck kit if you've got like a six inch, inch handle but um, yeah that seems to be quite nice so it worked out quite well on the other one so tighten that up Change the tool post for our part and off tool. There we go. Bring it up to the right place, which is about there. So this isn't this is these aren't critical critical dimensions really. And slow it down a bit for part and off. Should do the trick nicely, I think. There we go. Right, let's take the piece of bar stock out. We're done with that. handle back in tighten up we'll just face that end off
Now, obviously we need a nice round end on, uh, on the end like that. Uh, and I'm fortunate enough to uh, have some radius milling cutters, uh, which I'm gonna use for this job, but there are various different ways you can do this. Right, let's put the, uh, let's come out again. Now, I did a video uh, a while ago about making up these tool post blocks for various different things. And this particular one we're using is designed to take these uh, radius milling cutters, which is what we're gonna use to cut the radius on the end of the handle. So we'll fit that on. Square this up. Now these milling cutters aren't very sharp, so you have to be quite gentle when you go uh, make this cut. Uh, and I'll probably slow it down a little bit as well. So, here we go. So he gently does it. I think we're nearly there. Oh, it's like a little touch more, I think. No, it's a touch. There you go, one very nice radius end. You can see that there, let's go, go close it up. There you go. And apart from cleaning up and using a little bit of Loctite to uh, put it on the 
end of the chuck key. Well, we we're about done. Let's pull that out. So, yeah, there you go. Very quick, very easy job, and it produces this at the end of the day. Uh, it makes the chuck key a hell of a lot easier to use. As I said, all you do is just use some Loctite 638, something like that, to actually glue it onto the chuck key handle and uh, polish it up a bit, and the job's done. Okay, that's it. Very quick and dirty video. How to machine up some aluminium handles for your chuck keys. All credit on this video goes to Mr. P, aka Tubal Kane, and his brother, who it was who made these in the first place. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.